They say that bigger is better, which is absolutely true and unless you're talking about cockroaches or spider bites or trade deficits, interest rates, vertebrae ruptures, cholesterol levels, problems in Little China, fruitcakes, barbarian invasions. Okay, so bigger isn't always better. In fact, sometimes it's more trouble than it's worth. Which is why I wasn't sure what to think when I got the opportunity to review the oversized fat mat gaming mat produced by Frontline Gaming. Now, would this mat turn out to be neato or nuisance? Let's take a look. Saving your game from the mundane, the component proponent, yeah. My main concerns about the Fat Mat were its portability, durability, and whether it would lay flat on the table after spending so much time rolled up in its case. Oh, wait, and actually, before I get to those points, I want to mention that the Fat Mat did come in its own case. And this zippered case that it fits inside was an unexpected surprise when it arrived. So that was pretty cool. But how does it compare to the other gaming mats that I have? I have a variety of different gaming mats already in my collection, from a table-wide oval poker mat to several different gaming mats from inkedplaymats.com. Thank you very much. To even edged an oversized mouse pad from Staples. Okay. Now all of these, including the fat mat, are all made from a similar material, uh, typically a butadiene rubber with a fabric bonded onto the upper surface. Now I've seen a slight difference in their thicknesses, with the poker mat and oversized mouse pad being the thickest, and the inked play mats being the thinnest, this one, and the fat mat being somewhere in the middle. The biggest difference between them being that the fat mat I used measured four feet by six feet in size. It covered my entire dining room table with a little bit of mat to spare over the sides. And I have to admit, gaming on a table that was completely covered by a gaming mat was a luxurious experience. Usually, we have to strategically arrange our mats to accommodate the players and cards and dice rolling areas. But with the fat mat, we were able to just concentrate on gaming without having to fiddle around with it. But with a mat that size, it has to be rolled up pretty well during storage. Because of that, I was wondering if it would be curled, warped, or bubbled once it was unfurled and placed onto the table. Well, I was happy to say that we didn't experience any of those issues with it. As soon as it was laid out on the table, it relaxed and it laid as flat and smooth as any other gaming mat that I've ever used. Are you okay? Yeah, my foot itched. Okay. There's only a couple potential negatives that I have regarding the fat mat. The first one being its weight. You know, my four by six foot mat weighs 8.4 pounds. But really, duh, of course it does. I mean, what should I expect from a mat that covers such a large surface area? The only way to reduce its weight would probably be to make it thinner. And personally, I'll take the weight if it means a thicker mat. Heck, I'd actually like it if the fat mat was a few millimeters even thicker. The other potential area of improvement is in the graphic design. With such a large surface area, it can be difficult to come up with a pattern that doesn't start repeating, ending up giving you a tiling effect. The mat designs that are available seem to prevent that from happening pretty well. But picking a design was a bit of a challenge for me, because I felt that some of the designs that were available were a bit garish. This is, of course, just my opinion. And there's now quite a few additional designs that weren't available when I got mine. There's now many different themes to choose from, from Arctic Tundra, to crater-filled moonscapes, to a neon urban color explosion incident. But overall, I am very pleased with my full table fat mat. Which is good, because they are a substantial investment. A 4x6 mat retails on the manufacturer's website for around $100. So, in my opinion, it's something to consider very thoroughly before taking the plunge. So, that is the Fat Mat, manufactured by Frontline Gaming. A quality component that enhances the experience of any game that you play on it. Now, if you have any questions about it that weren't covered, let me know in the comments below. 
And if you know of a board gaming component that's worth talking about, let me know at components at pairofdiceparadise.com. Perhaps I can discuss it on an upcoming episode. But in the meantime, be sure to join me and the rest of the Dice Tower gang for more board game news, reviews, and commentary by subscribing to both the Pair of Dice Paradise and Dice Tower YouTube channels. And for more fun and surprises, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I've been Chaz Marler, your component proponent. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. With the poker mat and the oversized mouse pad being the thickest ones, the... Oh.